kids, welcome back to another class with Alice and Cook Beauty Dance. Today we are going to start standing up. Alright, let's take a big position with parallel feet. Alright, and we're gonna breathe in, ready, breathe in, and breathe out. Push the air out. And now we're gonna breathe in and roll down, touch the floor, and we bend our knees and then we extend and bend. Relax your head, say yes, say no, and roll up and again. the floor. Lean in and extend. Good. Lean in, shake head no. Shake head yes. And slowly roll up. Very good. And we're going to bounce from one side to the other. So you're just moving your upper body and you're just living your hands and arms free. Very good. And shoulders up around the back. And again. And elbows. And big arms and reach and and back, up and back, up and front, and one more time, and elbows back, and draw a big circle, and now hug a ball, curve your back, bend your knees, be as round as you can, and then slowly we're going to open up, open, open, and extend. Now we're going to do plie, ready, feet together, and we plie, up, good, and one more, now with the arms, and we rise to releve, arms on a big V, and come down, first position, toes apart, heels together, and ready again. Plie. Up. Very good. With the arms and open. And again. Relevate. Up. Reach. And down. And now. Feet apart. Toes outside. Yeah. And ready again. And plie. Make that diamond by reaching your knees out and coordinate the arms and the legs. They move at the same time. And same thing going to relevant. Good. Down. Second position. Ready. Go a little deeper now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Brown arms and open. And big star position. Big star, big star. Can you 
passe out and in, out and then breathe. Now very slow to the left. Come back and now out and in. Very nice. So think you're drawing a straight line in the sand. Yes, very good. You're brushing the floor with the sole of your foot. position and again very good yes now a little faster out in out other side very slow and you come back and go out in out and one more time again can you reach it out further And take a plie, extend, releve, and come down. Very good. All right, now we're going to do one of my favorite exercises. It's called Francis. You know, uh, when the horses are, you know, prancing around, they're nice and tall and nice and proud. And so we're going to try to do that. So as our legs moves, we're super tall, like we're almost gonna touch the ceiling with our head. And so for today, we're gonna have our hands onto our shoulders. So we make sure they're not over here with a curved back or not back here for an arch back. We wanna stay nice and vertical. Yes? All right, so from here, we're gonna have this like on a square position, a 90 degree angle. It's called Francis, yeah? So from here, we're just gonna switch very quick with the other leg and switch and switch and switch as we grow even taller. And that's for eight times. And then we're gonna go around one, two, three, four, and five. So we're gonna count together eight, and then five to change, okay? Are we ready? Ready and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now five, two, three, four, five. Nice job. Now on your side and one. Now we're going to move our legs a little more okay so we're going to see how much space we have and I want to travel even if it's just under yourself or just around you I would like for you to do this step while traveling so here you have the freedom to put your head hands where you want either on your hips on your shoulders or up here or to second position or even to first position and then we're going to pick up one leg to passe yeah so your toe is about where your knee is okay and then from here you're going to extend and then step on it yeah so slowly one more time passe extend down and step very good now i'm gonna go around myself yeah and then it's gonna be much faster than that so can we try a little faster just without the music just 
a rehearsal. And we go out and set in and out and set in and out and set in and out and step. Yeah? So let's have fun together and see where you can go without hurting yourself, okay? And ready? Out and step it. Change your arms. Are you still nice and tall and proud? And last one. And you're done. Good job. Okay, so today we're going to do something with more action words. So those action words are really special because I didn't just choose some that are, you know, dancey ones. So that they describe something that we can do in dance, but they're also different, very different. Something that we usually don't do in dance. But we are going to use our imagination to see what movements, what type of movement and what quality of movement we can use to do these action words. So let's see what they are. So this one is quite simple because we've done it many, many times. So we're gonna paint. Do you remember when you had to paint your name or paint letters or, or like in different levels or uh, paint a picture with your body, with your elbow, with some part of your body. So we're gonna paint. You're gonna paint anything that you'd like. You can paint the sun, the moon, uh, waves, or a whole picture. Okay, so this one is pretty simple. Then we're going to play. So we're gonna do movements that are playful and it doesn't have to be similar to what you look like when you're playing. You know what I mean? It can be your kitty playing or your dog playing or a child of a different age playing. Mm -hmm. So you can get very creative with it. Then, I love this one, swim. So in dance we don't really swim, right? We're we're not in the water, so how would we swim? Well, we can make it happen. We can imagine, for example, we're swimming in the air. And that's going to be fun. And then we have kind of a difficult one, sing. You don't actually have to sing. I am not good at singing. You're probably much better than I am. So you can sing with your body. You can, I don't know, do some movements with your chest as if you were singing. And then, I love this one, breathe. How can we dance while having our body breathe? So what, breathing is not just like breathing out, breathe, sorry, breathing in and breathing out. It's it can be something with your body. Yeah, you can, um, you can make it happen with your movement. Like when you breathe in, you expand your movement and when you breathe out, you shrink it. Okay, so we're just going to get to it very, very quickly. So we're going uh, to close our eyes and mix our cards, you can make your own if you want. I'm gonna mix them, mix, 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 and we're gonna open our eyes and see what I have right here. So first, we have breathe. So I'm just gonna put it where I can see it while I dance, right here. I have breathe, 
I'm just gonna do it two at a time for now. And then I have swim. Okay. We're gonna put these aside for now. We have breathe and swim. So now I'm going to put a um, nice and inspiring music on and we're gonna try and move with it with the word breathe and swim. Ready? All right, ready? And we're gonna start breathing. So we moved a little bit and now we know how it feels like. Kind of felt good, right? So let's see what the next two are. We have paint. So I'm gonna put it here next to the other ones. And we have play. Oh, those are also real fun. Okay, so now we're just going to work on paint and play. Let me put some music on and we'll get started. Alrighty, and we're gonna start painting. but not least is sing <clears throat> so since this one is a little bit more complicated we can work on it for last as last one and yeah again you don't have to sing with your voice you can sing with your body all right let's go ready ready sing with your body So now that we explored 
all these action words, um, we're going to try and put them together. So you don't have to do one thing with all these things all together randomly. You can do breathe and then zoom and then paint, play and sing. Um, but you're gonna try and put them together uh, so you don't see like where you stop one and begin with the other. Yeah, so it's like you're writing and you don't just like write something else with a blank space between the two paragraphs. You're just gonna write it like one beautiful long page. Okay, so to remember what comes next, you can put your little signs, if you want to do them yourself, right in front of you where you can see them. So it can be on a table, you can hang them, you can put them on the floor, and you can also play this game by yourself with your own words, okay? So let's try to put them together and I'm gonna choose some music and let's have fun. All right, ready? And let's start with breathe. I'll see you next time. Bye.